and welcome to the March DWM Newscast. I'm Tara Tafra. And I'm Holly Biller. There are a lot of legislative activities going on in the door and window industry. I just returned from the joint legislative meeting of the Window and Door Manufacturers Association and the National Lumber and Building Material Dealers Association in Washington, D.C., where legislative issues played a major role. Speaking to the tax credit, Mike O'Brien, president of both the WDMA and NLBMDA, said the door and window tax credit saved American jobs as many consumers opted for window replacements, but there is still a long way to go. There are still one billion single pane windows in American homes. He said two thirds of those that claim the $1,500 credit made less than $100,000. O'Brien says this proves that the middle class are the ones that took advantage of the program. He also cited an NAHB study that of every $100,000 spent in remodeling jobs, 1.11 full-time jobs are created. The IRS and NAHB estimate that 278,610 jobs were created in connection with the 25C credits. The WDMA wants to include extension of the credit in a tax extenders bill if there is one. If not, Senator Ron Wyden has proposed legislation to extend the credit from the current $200 to $1,000, including installation costs for the first time. O'Brien said the cost of those credits, if passed, would amount to more than a billion dollars. We'll be right back with more important legislative news. DWM Magazine invites all door and window manufacturers and dealers to join us in San Antonio on April 12th. Fenestration Day provides a full day of seminars, a networking luncheon, and access to Glass Texpo. Come hear expert speakers such as David Crow, chief economist for the NAHB, give the latest housing forecast, and other topics such as energy efficiency, financing options, and maximizing leads. For the full schedule lineup, please visit dwmag.com forward slash fenday. While there, don't forget to book your hotel room by March 9th and pre-register for the event no later than March 23rd. The U.S. Senate is considering a bill that would amend the EPA's lead paint rule and restore the opt-out provision that applies to pregnant women and children living in pre-1978 homes. The bill has some key provisions. It would suspend enforcement until EPA can offer approved test kits that don't provide false positives and would prohibit the EPA from expanding the rule into commercial buildings, among other measures. Jeff Inks, WDMA Vice President of Codes and Regulatory Affairs, said the two groups are looking for a congressional member to introduce a similar bill on the House side. If you want to learn more about this bill, go to our website and search for lead paint. There is a lot of legislation to watch for, and we will be doing just that. Be sure to stay tuned to DWMMag.com for the latest news. For more on the WDMA and NLBMDA meetings, go to our website. Thanks for watching.